Okay, greetings, John Moss, the J2 Algo Trader. All right, so let's say that you want to just take one trade per day, so one and done. Well, you need to create a variable for that, and it's going to be a bool. Now, I'm going to assume you probably want this for the day session only. That would require the use of the J2 bar counter, which is free on the website, and you can learn about it in Ninja Trader 8 Strategy Builder Video 3 on my channel. Okay, so first, let's create the variable. Come over here and click Add, and we'll just give this a pretty direct name one trade is done for the day okay this again is gonna be a true false statement which means it is a bool we are going to set that to false now, as you can see I've already got a strategy going here so really all we need to do is add this to all of the conditional statements so I'm just gonna add it to one here but for all conditional statements that you have created here in this particular case call this a tick long we currently have our condition set to false. Obviously, it means it's not true. So what we do here, we come back to the variable. We just created one trade and done for the day equals false. Okay, which means we have not made a trade yet. If that condition is all true, everything that we are telling it to do here, then we enter. In this case, we're entering along. We're going to add. Or we've already added that. So we're going to come along and add. set one trade and done for the day now equals true okay compile that so stay back and take a look at what just happened here we said here that you know this one trade and done for the day equals false and if it does it'll make the entry it'll get in long here but it will also set this variable to true all right which obviously means that this will no longer be true if it if the conditions were to occur again now, do remember, you've set a bull, you've set it to true, and you have to turn it off. So you're going to pack and create another condition. Now, since we're going to have to reset that bull, uh, either you can set a time condition or a bar count, which in this case, I've got a bar counter stop at 261. It's right around, say, like 2.30 in the afternoon. Over here, you can see real quick, I've got the bar counter set up. And back over here, I've had this set to 261. So it's really closer to 245, all right? So... Let's create the condition to reset that variable. Make this very easy. Gave it a different name there, but that bar counter is greater or equal to my bar counter stop. We're going to come back and set one trade depth of the day to false, just like that. Okay? Compile that. And that's it. So now at the end of the day, it'll reset. But remember, for every entry system you have, you're going to have to add what we added right here. Okay, that variable has to start off as false, and once a trade has been made, it will go to true, and it will stay that way until it's turned off at the end of the day, and that's it.